Так, и друзья, всем привет, вы на канале Молния Окружится. Извините, но, тот, но то видео должно было быть удалено, та примера для, для безопасности, для безопасности нашей безопасности. Поэтому переходим к видео. Ребята, всем привет, вы на канале Молния Окружится. И сегодня... Я хочу снять еще одну, один ролик. Итак, это тоже будет примерно, да. И сейчас мы с вами посмотрим. Разрешит ли нам Гобси снять браток на русском на, на мой канал? Так, выключаем музыку. Так, все. Я... Я не буду ничего показывать для безопасности моего канала и для безопасности авто... Ну, чтобы мне не прилетели потом авторские права от, от Робзи. Так. Так, я сейчас вернусь. Ребят, к сожалению, не получилось, поэтому Брауток на русском не выйдет. Мы сейчас с вами просто Брауток посмотрим. Как бы, и все. Та-дам! Вот, та вот такой вот у нас Брауток. Погнали смотреть. Meet Denitron 3000, a genius robot I developed myself, capable of presenting any other thing. Correct. I see. Good job, Danny. And welcome to Brawl I'll be back. Back to the Wild West, but not entirely. We introduce you to the Robot Factory, the home of all those crazy robots you see in Star Park. It's also a perfect link to our newest chromatic brawler, Sam. He's the second member of Dell's trio and literally her partner in crime. He also has some personal beef with all the robots in Star Park. His playstyle feels very unique to Brawl. When equipped with his knuckle busters, he does a stronger close-range attack that can hit multiple enemies at the same time. When he doesn't have them, his attacks are not as powerful, but they are faster. And while he has his knuckle busters, his super bar is always full, meaning he's the first brawler who already starts with his super available. Activating his super with his knuckle busters on will throw them and will damage everything on their way. He also gets a temporary speed buff. Activating the super again will then call his knuckle busters back to his arms and damage everything on their way back. While Sun doesn't have his weapon, he'll have to charge his super in the normal way by hitting his attacks. Or he can collect his knuckle buster again. Sam will get the Caesar Sam skin at the last tier of the Brawl Pass. And the first king of the Brawl Pass is Desperado Pope. Completing the Calamity Gang will have Lowless Lola as the Power League skin and Crowbone for gems. We will also be getting Moon Bunny Squeak for the Moon Festival in Asia, Stone Stand, it will make sense, I promise, and Mecha Mortis, our newest 299 gem skin with custom voiceover and visual effects. And if you get him on release month, you get his spray, profile picture, and a whole set of his pins for free. Also, it will unlock two color variations in the shop for 49 gems each. And lastly, Trick or Treat Leon, which will be available around Halloween. We'll have other skins for Halloween, but they will come in a different update. And speaking of skins, all the robots got finally remodeled. They are a lot more polished, shiny, and brawly. We'll be getting another awesome 3D animation feature pen and 8-bit, and to celebrate that, we'll be getting a new PV mode. In this mode, you must keep 8-bit alive by collecting coins across the map and protecting him from the waves of bots. If 8-bit is defeated, you lose the game. If you and 8-bit survive until the end, you win. In this mode, 8-bit will be walking around and doing some work. 
So we'll be in the team of four. But also make sure you always have him in your sight. You can swap brawlers in Power League. At the preparation screen, you can either request or receive a request to swap a brawler. And if everything looks great, you can accept it. That could be a really good idea to secure a good brawler first, or if they are just better than you with that brawler. We'll have a second brawler which will be released later in September. Gus is a very Gosh, weird kid in his PJs and looks like he hasn't touched grass for a while. But besides his catchy vibes, Gus is actually a support brawler with the ability to heal and protect a life. For every attack Gus hits, he charges a new bar. Once this bar is full, the next attack you hit will drop a ghost in the map. If your allies touch this ghost, they will heal. You can drop multiple ghosts in the map. With his super, he's able to cast a shield either on his allies or on himself. To cast it on allies, you should aim and hit your shot. To use it on yourself, you just tap the super button as if you would be auto-aiming. And great news, if you look forward to unlocking him, he will be super rare, which is quite easy to find in boxes. Trophy reset is getting longer. It's now every eight weeks in line with the Brawl Pass seasons. We are partnering with some awesome eSport teams and you'll be able to support them too by getting their profile picture or pins from the shop. New challenges and quests with new sprays and profile pictures as rewards. The Robot Factory environment is also available in Showdown. New gadgets for bus and grief. Gears price reduction. And a message from the future. We managed to travel in time and get Frank from the future to tell you a bit more about what we have planned for Brawl Stars in the future. How do you do, fellow kids? Wait, that's from the past. Sorry, Frank. So, we are all aware that we have some players who are concerned about the future. What do you have for the community? Well, for the last few months, we've focused on designing and building our high-level roadmap for the future. And this is the first time ever we are talking about our future plans with you, our players. Why are we doing this? We feel there's a disconnect between you and us, and we'd like to resolve it. So, let's talk about the next update. To get this out of the way, yes, we are going to rework years. We didn't plan to make changes to the system this year, but we understand your feelings and frustrations about it, and we share most of them. Consequently, we have decided to prioritize this and push back other changes. In fact, we are going to make some changes already in this update. We reduce the cost of craft gears and gear levels by about 50% in the coming update by reducing the amount of required scrap and tokens. So, should we talk about October a little bit? We are going to simplify the flow on how you acquire gears and decrease the cost. And at the same time, we're going to introduce additional, more specific gears, which won't be usable for all the brawlers. And can we talk about what happens to existing gears? We're pretty much hitting the reset button for gears and we'll reimburse all existing scrap, gear tokens and already crafted gears to you. This will happen in coins and coins will play a much bigger role in how to unlock gears in the future. This essentially allows you a full respec for gears once the October update arrived. Refunds will be based on the total amount of scrap and gear tokens you've collected since we've introduced them last year. Cool, and there is more, right? Why, Paula? Yes. We're also reworking the existing PvE weekend modes. We ultimately don't believe they are fun anymore, and we're going to replace them with a new, more dynamic PvE system, which will introduce new features, including multiple stages, persistent power-ups, different environments, and new types of enemies and bosses. Almost like a place where we'll be able to tell a story in the future. We also have plans beyond October. That's right. The timeline becomes a bit more uncertain at this point. However, there are a few bigger topics we would like to tackle. And the first one is affecting the current progression system and its reliance on luck in order to unlock brawlers. We would like you to have more say in which brawlers you unlock and when, as well as which brawlers you would like to upgrade. These changes have a huge impact on how brawlers played and will give every player a clear goal in the game. We'd like to get these changes into your hands as fast as possible. And there are more things the team is working on. Yes, we would like to make it more meaningful to improve playing certain brawlers. The concept of mastery. Think clearer goals, rewards, you get it. Additional items on our current list of things to do are matchmaking, a better sense of collecting cosmetics and more ways for you to show them off, as well as tools for you to share cool moments in the game on social media directly from within the game. We'd also like to introduce ways for you to recruit your friends. And yes, in parallel, we've started working on a system to report other players for things like grief play. 
we're likely going to roll this one out rather sooner than later and start the process of collecting data and get a sense of the volume of reports. This isn't a complete list of everything we'll do, but these are the topics currently taking the majority of our focus. You can learn more about upcoming features as usual here in Brawl Talk. And with this, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and see you in October. And giveaways! Yes, the Brawl Stars creators will be giving away Moon Bunny Squeak. So search for hashtag Bunny Squeak giveaway here on YouTube or any social media and read the rules to participate in the giveaway hosted by the Brawl content creators. And this isn't a list... What's wrong with me? I did it perfectly before. I remember. And if everything looks great for you, you can... I guess... It's supernatural. Yeah. That's right. Hasta la vista, baby. I'm better than Danny at everything. R2, D2 sounds. <laughs> Should I do it? Yes. <laughs> Ребят, как вам Бравл Ток? Пишите в чате. Буду в чате сидеть. Обязательно ставьте лайки, подписывайтесь. До новых встреч. Sweet.